Hello everyone and welcome back to Rise of Industry and to Shandaf with an awful lot of uh, uh, red signals there. I'm sure they will all clear up as soon as we uh, let a little bit of time pass. But let's uh, just actually double check. What's what's the issue here? Why are you showing up as red? Hmm. We'll hopefully see that uh, once a couple of things have delivered, maybe those will go away. We'll just speed things along and just make sure. Because otherwise, I'm going to be a little bit concerned. Hmm. They're still not being fixed. Uh, let's just double check. Maybe. Maybe not. Have you not got water? Uh, it doesn't look as though you have. Right, okay, so what's happening here? This is interesting. Uh, we've just loaded the game. I do apologize for not uh, jumping into things a little bit faster. Let's have a look. Ooh, incoming water, grape water siphon. Well, that would be the problem, yes. Toggle off destination. Ah, well, well, yes. Uh, so, I need that to go over here, but why is it not? If I look into the water siphon itself, does it have any particular destinations? There we are, Cotton Warehouse. That is not the destination. Um, two in range. Can that, please? Uh, did I select the wrong one? Yes, I did. So, I want this one to... Yeah, there we are. Grape Warehouse. Fantastic. Right, that should work now. So, the Grape Warehouse should now have water coming in. There we go. And that's one problem fixed. Uh, placing down that warehouse causes us all manner of issues. There's so many trucks trying to move all of this water. And it's like, oh my god, we've got so much backlog. You've just given us work. It's been piling up for days. But there we are. That uh, word for the wise. When you place down another warehouse, do make sure that everything is connected up properly because if you assume you're going to make, uh, uh, you're going to open yourself to tragedy. Right, we've already delivered eight bricks and that's rather good. We are still looking into wall panels. And until we get that, there's probably no point in setting up the industry. Though I suppose maybe setting up the copper tubing wouldn't be a bad idea. But before we get to that, I know, I know everyone is eager to know who won the last key giveaway and, or rather, the last episode's key giveaway because we still have a few keys to give away. But that would be Renosian. Renosian, well done you. Uh, don't worry, I did notice that you had replied in two places and you were only entered once on the list. But nevertheless, Chaotocles favours you, so well done on winning the key. Uh, you can just contact me on Discord with a DM and I will get that over to you but that does lead us neatly into the fact that we still have three keys to give away so please let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in winning one of those keys now we have wall panels being uh, looked into i guess that does mean at this point it's probably time for us to start having a look at setting up our copper tubing now we do have the glasswork smelter uh, let's just have a look in this method. We can make copper tubing, and you don't need coal for it, which is amazing. So we can set that up right away. Now, copper tubing, I don't believe, actually has any real destination um, on the on the map as yet. So we may end up needing to just sell that straight away. Tax break. The region has given you a small tax break to reward you for years of being part of the community. All building up, keep minus one five percent. Wow, that's actually remarkable. I approve. Uh, now, I don't believe that there's anywhere that would buy the copper tubing, and I don't really want to just sell it straight off. But uh, let's go ahead and start laying down the plans for this. Eventually, we are going to need to start moving things around. So, uh, gatherers-wise, we want a copper mine, and we'll have plenty of copper over here. So let's just pop this one down nice and neatly in there. Now, do I just place one of these on each one? Uh, yes, apparently I do. That is exactly how it works. And I don't believe that you draw a road. You just build a little miner's co uh, cottage, and the miners will take care of it themselves, from what I understand, which is uh, very, very nice indeed. All right, let's uh, draw this road all the way down. We can connect up there. That'll be fine. Nice little connection there. Now, we will want a warehouse, obviously, around this location, especially given that we are going to ultimately want a reasonable amount of uh, motion for our product. We're going to probably be setting up zeppelins with this one. 
Uh, so given that, let's uh, make all of this nice and tidy-like. There we go. Now, sure, we'll also bring it around the side as well, like so. Now, I have no idea if a copper mine is going to be a polluting industry. I imagine the mining would be a polluting industry, but uh, game logic does uh, sometimes uh, throw throw a spanner in the works. And as we've just uh, had a bit of a discussion on not assuming, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to let that run by itself for a little while. I want to see if this pollutes, because if I place anything else down, I, I'm fairly certain I can already see it. Yeah, there's probably uh, all the uh, the tailings uh, creating a bit of nastiness there. Uh, yeah, pollution 100%. Very well. Uh, right. Truck speed increased by 47% for 21 months. Hmm. No, we're not sending any trucks over in that direction just yet. Now, the thing is, we know that we're going to be wanting to build a... Uh, uh, to get some water over here because we're going to want to deal with pollution. So how about I set up the pollution dealing purifier straight away. And we can have you built right about here. That should help out. There we go. And perhaps uh, I could have this warehouse send out some of those, that water. Ah, no I can't. That is a bit of a shame. However, we do have some materials here. We've got uh, water there. I could set up some water to be brought over by trucks if I particularly want to, and that might be worthwhile. We've got a couple of places which have a lot of water stacking up. Now, if you're wondering how I'm bringing up all of these uh, labels, it's just with alt. I haven't shown that before. There hadn't really been a need, but uh, we are going to want to take care of this. So, uh, copper mine one, honestly, we can leave that there. We'll have this be copper warehouse, though. Copper warehouse, there we go. This will be copper purifier. Ah, copper air purifier, that's fine. And for the time being, we can pop down a truck depot as well. Uh, we'll have that one just neatly on this road right there, and then we can deliver straight in there. This will be the copper depot. There we are. Eventually, we're probably going to want zeppelins around here. But uh, for the time being, we'll just have this one. There we are. Now, I would like this warehouse to request raw resources, water, and that should be okay we'll store up to 10 in here and i don't think we really need more than that now this uh this uh truck depot should or, or some trucks from somewhere should go ahead and start making deliveries there we go and they'll just bring the water from whichever depot has water to spare and that will actually keep everything running quite nice for us. Now we're most of the way towards wall panels, which is uh, pretty good. What have we got queued up after that? Because I'm starting to think that maybe before we go for Zeppelins, we should probably look at one other thing first. Now advanced distribution, Zeppelins are pretty cool, but how about we look at water towers? Now water towers would be quite nice. When you build a water tower, you won't need to move around the water that you're collecting from a siphon. A water tower, I believe, collects from anything within its radius, any of the siphons within its radius automatically, and distributes to any of the water-consuming properties within its radius automatically. No trucks, and that will help us a lot in, in various areas, but especially down in our current brick smelting area, because we are seeing some congestion caused by, by the truck. So we'll, we'll grab that and just see how it works. But then we'll get the Zeppelin um, field as well. So there we go. Right, everything there, all set up quite nice like. Right, so next up, well, actually, we'll just leave the, the speed moving along. Uh, we have finished delivering all of the, the bricks. So actually, we should go have, ahead and have a look in here. We probably don't have destination for the bricks anymore. No, we don't. Okay, so let's make a destination for the bricks. Uh, let's see if there is any way that we could send them. Commercially, oh, 765 tiles away. That would be a very, very expensive journey to make. And uh, not one that I specifically want to do yet, but perhaps later we could have the bricks brought up here and then ferried along with the Zeppelin as well. That might be worth it allowing. So I'm going to let the bricks start to uh, accrue for the time being. I think that will actually be actually be quite cool. Uh, but for the time being, let's uh, go ahead 
and open up our glassworks and smelter. Now, we could build these on that side, but I think I'd prefer to have them built over here instead. Uh, we can have them perhaps uh, connecting up in this direction. I don't want them to be built directly off the road. I'd rather have a little sort of uh, turning for them. So we can have something like this, and then a road going around like that. There we go. We could even start using the one-way roads, actually. So, for example, this would be a one-way road uh, heading down in this direction. This would be a one-way road heading up. So uh, the trucks would leave up there and then would return via this route instead. Except, you know, ghost trucks down there because they, they'd already pre-calculated their route and then suddenly the route was not the same anymore. And that uh, that has thrown them off a little bit. It's fine, though. Right, copper tubing. There we go. This is what we want to get up and running. <laughs> You're breaking the law. Uh, let's set this up as tubing smelter. There we are. Smelter one. We probably want more than one of these. Now, these will take two uh, two copper every 15 days, and they'll produce two copper tubing. Do we want more than that? That is a fair question. Uh, we're going to need to see how much we need in the wall panels, but we might not want it, so we'll uh, we'll allow that for now, as we're about to finish the wall panels. Deliver 39 planks to Farnham. They will pay a reasonable subsidy with the looks of it. Let's uh, pause that there. Farnham. Right, let's uh, try and find you then, Farnham. I believe Farnham is not far away. Let's have a look. Up. It's actually really close. Really close. And we want to connect to Farnham anyway. So this seems like a good idea. Uh, let's have a look at our planks at the moment. Do we have many in storage? We don't. We don't have any in storage. Uh, okay, well, given that, we might want to uh, start uh, sending them up this way. Let's uh, zoom in on Farnham. Again, we ultimately want to, to claim Farnham as our own, so this may be worth doing. If we have a look, uh, product price is 189%. Uh, failure to complete the contract will result in a loss of 710,000. 39 wooden planks. How long will we have? Completion date is November the 27th, year 7. It is year 6, so we'd have uh, a full 12 month, uh, well, yeah, more or less 12 months to make that uh, that exchange. Now, how much are we producing per month? Let's let's probably check this out. Units produced uh, in a month is 4. We're, we've got two places producing it, so 8 per month. We'll easily hit what we need for that. Uh, okay. So given that, we're going to briefly change our destinations here. All right. Uh, we will go ahead and we will set up a contract for this one. Uh, we'll see if we can actually earn it first because someone else might try to compete. It's going to cost us a decent amount of money, 1.88 million to pick up this contract. Contracts are opportunities for your, you to earn large amounts of money by providing enough product to satisfy a contract. I'm going to place a bid. Let's see how this one goes. If anyone else outbids us, then we just won't build the road. But uh, we'll see how that goes for now. This is a little bit of a deviation. Oh, there we go. All right, so we have won that contract. Nice. Right, auction one. Excellent. All right, Farnham, you're going to get a new road connection. Oh, happiest of days. Let's go ahead and build this out. Do we want to go up and over? Uh, we could do, certainly. It's going to be very expensive, mind you. Uh, sure. I'm not going to build a tunnel if we don't need to, but I may well just go around the, uh, sorry, between these. There's no particular reason for me not to. Uh, all the way down, and we'll go up and over. There we are. And we can just connect up to this road. Uh, well, actually, we'll connect up slightly differently because we don't want to interact with the one-way system there. There we go. Now, that is a quite a hefty road there, my lord. Okay, uh, we will have a truck depot and a warehouse up here. I think that makes the most sense. Honestly, we'll have the warehouse. Uh, let's build it off a little bit so that uh, we're not uh, interacting too heavily with that junction there. We don't want to make it uh, uh, too uh, awkward to navigate, and I would like this to come on down here. We, we'll just have a little... A bit more of a convoluted roundabout. A roundabout within a roundabout. Ah, 
I like it. Uh, this will be the Farnham Warehouse. Let's go ahead with that. Farnham Warehouse. And of course, we're going to want a truck depot. So we could just send them up here automatically. But I'd rather not do that. Uh, we will have the truck depot. Uh, since it's going to be interacting with the warehouse, we could just have it built off here. Um, sure, we'll place that down there. And we'll have it connect direct to this. We'll have another little whip roundabout. Oh, roundabouts within, roundabouts within, roundabouts. It's glorious. Truly, have you ever seen something as beautiful as this? I doubt it. Right, uh, we will go with Farnham. Depot, a trade depot. There we are, perfect. Now I want to request, well, we don't strictly want to request 39 planks, but we definitely do want to request quite a lot. So let's uh, pop down planks. Do you actually accept planks at all naturally? Uh, you accept grapes. So this is another destination for us to sell a few things uh, and sand actually, which is interesting, but we're gonna go ahead and just uh, request well, if we request them in tents, we'll eventually have one left over. So maybe, maybe we should just dispatch the trucks directly from the warehouse there. But having set up uh, this over here isn't uh, a terrible thing um, anyway. But you know what? We will use the trucks simply so that we're not uh, messing up our uh, infrastructure. I'll request 20 for now, since that's quite a long way. We can always sh shuffle it back. It'll cost us a little bit of extra money. But that's not a terrible way of doing it. And while all that's going on, we are actually going to shut down our sale of planks. So let's turn off the plank sale. There we go. They will simply be accrued for now and then dispatched automatically by our traders there. Right. War panels are complete. But before we get to war panels, oh, these auto saves, they are frequent and uh, I imagine necessary. But I don't want to be that aggressive. But one thing we d did need to check out is uh, a couple of people were a little bit concerned that maybe I wasn't automatically selling everything that I was storing over here. But no, it does. Uh, oh, no, wait, this is the request. Um, am I actually sending it? No, I'm not. And I almost made the same mistake again. Thank you so much for posting that in the comments. I was being an enormous derp. All right, let's get that being sent out commercially to wrestle. And once again, let's uh, check out how much wrestle can actually take. You can take seven, so we're going to want this down to just 14. There we go. One, two, three, and four. And finally, we're also going to want it to bring in the cotton and send that out as well. And you'll also want it to be seven. There we go. So we'll bring in a little bit of extra money. So I, I was spending money sending it over. I just wasn't doing anything with it. Classic Avac. Right, there we go. We should see a little bit of extra cash flowing into the coffers straight away. The trucks should be leaving the depot. There we are. Deliver 13 beach to beef to Manchester. I'm not making beef, so I'm not going to be going for that one. But that would have been nice were I able to. Alas, I cannot. Uh, we've got a lot of trucks heading out from there. Uh, that's fine. There is a bit of a traffic jam here, though. Uh, that I am not uh, as... Uh, especially happy with i'll be honest you know what let's uh set up the one-way system i had described previously we will have this point to enter into the factory but this one to get out of this area so there we go inflation oh no uh, let's have a look due to increased inflation the state has decreased the interest of all uh, increased the interest of all loans Ugh. that's not particularly good i'll be honest with you i'm not happy about that one uh, what's going on over here? The copper warehouse is probably full of something copper, as it happens. Well, we are working on a water tower, and then eventually we will get to something a little bit more useful. We're starting to see a bit of a uh, bit of issue though with uh, pollution building up, but we can we can work on a couple of these items now. I'm, am I seeing any trucks along this route yet? Let's uh, zoom right in and see. Am I requesting? Sort of to twenty. Are we sending, is the question. Have we got trucks on their way? Let's have a look at you. No, you've got water. Any other trucks heading out yet? Let's have a quick look. Hmm. 
Cost of Terraform reduced? No, we don't need to watch that one right now. Uh, where are you sending to right now? Destinations. You are sending it to the Wood Warehouse, which is fine. We're going to allow that one to just sit there for now. I would rather see that than not. And if we have a look in here, uh, destinations, that one is turned off. Are we stockpiling? Well, something just moved. Is this going into the depot? It is. So the wood depot is almost certainly sending this out. There we go. Two are heading off to the Farnham Trade Depot. Okay, I'm, just, now that I can see that it is actually moving, I can stop worrying about that. Right, next up then, finally, we're going to need to pop down our... Oh, something else just uh, bad happened. I'm not sure what went on there. Mm, no idea. Uh, the inflation is pretty nasty, but it's just something we're going to have to work through. Uh, we want to make wall panels. Now, wall panels, I believe, are carpentry object let me just have a quick look down the plank mill here yes wall panels i could bring the copper tuning down uh, tubing down or i could build another set since i need the wooden planks i don't see a reason to do that so let's instead just build a carpentry area over here i could have the carpenters built on this road and there'd be no particular reason not to we're not selling the wall panels anywhere in particular though interestingly we can now see where we could sell the wall panels if i wanted to uh, sorry not the wall panels the uh, copper tubing let's pop that in there and just have a quick look there is nowhere here that wants them so that's fine we'll just uh, leave that as is but that was useful to check out so in terms of factories perhaps we could have this built over on this side hmm i'm thinking that it's a possibility yes if we t were to build that though i kind of want to change this road a little bit so let's have a road running down in the middle like this like so and then connecting up uh in either direction there we are i do like having that little connection connecting road like so uh for some purely aesthetic reasons if i'm honest uh right this one needs to be making wall panels so we're gonna add oh we need planks and we need the copper tubing so we're gonna need to set up a small request for planks at this location we're probably going to need to increase our production of planks then that much is clear to us but we want the wall panels they're going to make, take 25 days to make at per one that's a bit rough actually we probably are going to want two then given that uh panel joinery seems reasonable to me uh we'll make that panel joinery one because we're going to need two there we go, we'll have that one there, and we'll build another one straight away. Well, yes, we probably should build the second straight away, actually. And we'll also allow time to start progressing once again. Uh, let's get you built down. We're going to have to expand out our harvesting area uh, to be able to make sure that this uh, produces. But we don't want to uh, go full bore on this. We're already making enough... Uh, copper tubing, I would say, that we don't need to worry too much about it. But uh, if we having two will just mean that we can actually get this done in a reasonable time frame. Now, as these are being brought up, we are going to need this to deliver them. So destinations. Let's choose the uh, wooden planks. You thought I'd forgotten. Well, okay, I had briefly. But shh, it's fine. There we are, and you can go ahead and deliver as many of those as you can until it's complete but we are going to need to set up a little request for planks how many planks do we want to, to request here uh let's place down just a small number uh let's request 10 for now can i get 10 there we are 10 will be more than enough and with that we are going to need to expand out our production in this area we should be producing quite a lot of wood because we haven't really expanded this out much at all uh, we're currently using two every 20 days we've got a little bit of an overflow but I would prefer to have even more planks being made if I'm personally uh, if I'm perfectly honest uh, we could have the uh, the next lumber yard built over in this area I think that would be reasonable and then the next time we want to expand out our collection of lumber, we will actually uh, 
put the, the, the time in to make sure we're, we're not massively overproducing because we, we probably are a, a little bit, uh, a little bit massively. There we go. And we'll get another couple. One there, one there, and a final one just about here. We can easily set this area up to have quite a few. Right, let's pause that there. We should be moving on Zeppelins now, which is grand. A pathing alert. Uh, well, this one hasn't had a road yet, so that does not surprise me. Uh, let's go ahead and connect all of that up there. And we'll have this brought up as well. And all connected like so. There we go. We will want to place down plenty of trees, though, and get this place nice and wooded so that in the future there will be no issue with getting uh, getting all of these trees collected. We're not going to have to worry about having to replant this area for quite some time, I would say. There we go. That should be plenty for us. There we are. Okay, so this should be uh, delivering all of that down into this warehouse. So now we can just place down... A couple more plank uh, plank mills, so that would be quite nice. Production alert, uh, storage is full. Yeah, that will be the case for quite some time, unfortunately. Uh, there we are. Let's place down a few more carpentry warehouses. Uh, could we fit two in on this side? We probably can. Thinking about it, let's place one there and another one just over here. There we go. Quite nice. And then have these two. Connected up via road right there. Perfect. Now, I could have a one-way system here. And I am quite tempted to do so. Having all of the the traffic moving around in this direction would be quite nice. Uh, so, let's go ahead and do that. I'd like any traffic moving out this way to be going in that direction. This direction. And that direction. There we go. This should enforce that my traffic is... Well, actually, given that, do we really want this one moving out, and out there? That's a bit of a tricky one. I could have... Because um, I think they're going to cross lanes quite a lot. I could just have all of my traffic going in that one direction. But this is starting to uh, get quite congested there, as you can well see. Now, the Zeppelin field is on its way. We have got water towers, though, so let's go and check those out, shall we? Uh, let's have a look. Now, where would they be? Would they be under farms, pollution, prototype facilities, administrative buildings? I doubt. Logistics, perhaps? No. Factories? Nope. Gatherers? Water well? The water well uses harvesters to collect units of water from underground. Water siphon? Hmm. Well, where do we build the water tower at? Uh, I'm not seeing it there. It's not. Uh, oh, no, there we are. Under farms. Water tower will collect and distribute units of water to buildings that need it without the need for roads or trucks, which is quite, quite amazing. We'll get rid of that one, though. Gameplay alert. Auction one. Yep, we're slowly satisfying this one. Uh, so, water tower. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That is actually quite amazing. We had this built up here, we would probably be able to satisfy the water of oh, almost all of our farms. In fact, that one might be able to satisfy all of them. Let's see if we put this one here, if that will, in fact, hit all of these farms together. If we do that, then our warehouses won't necessarily collect the water. We'll see, but let's plop that one down. This building works not uh, a lot like a warehouse, except it only distributes water to farms that need it. Ah, okay. Well, I was wondering about that one. Now, I'm wondering what we could do then if maybe we just pump this one, one over there as well. Given that it is a, uh, uh, a water, uh, it's under the farm's menu, it isn't too surprising that it only... Uh, affect farms. Uh, let's see where else we could place a water tower that would be useful. One around here would be quite nice. It would probably hit all of these farms together. Yes, it would. So, alright, there's nowhere else we would be able to put this and hit all of them, so I'm fine with that. 
There we go. This one should have two different water siphons outgoing to six different farms, and that is perfectly fine by me. This one's already full uh, storage. It's not. It's pulling from two different siphons to, to do that. So we're going to turn off the uh, alert there, and we'll do the same over here. We don't need to see the, those particular alerts. But that is much, much nicer. Much nicer, because then we're not going to need to worry too much about trucks. Okay, we're starting to get there with the, uh, the requirements there. That is producing an awful lot of pollution, not gonna lie. Uh, let's have a look in here. Have we got any planks stored up? Not yet, not yet. Uh, we will probably be getting those in a little while, those so plank mill one. Let's rename these. Plank mill two and plank mill three. There we are. Now, I did get asked if uh, perhaps it wouldn't be better for me to set up a toy industry over here, since I am thinking of moving into the toy industry. I would prefer to have access to more different types of industries, though. Because we are going to need a textile industry to, to service making dolls anyway, we may find that we've got uh, overproduction of, of certain textiles, and whilst that isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just means that we would just have those textiles available. I could even drop down the the how hard the factories were working. Having, well, one of the things that actually being a YouTuber has taught me, don't have all of your eggs in one basket. Don't have all of your revenue coming from one source because fluctuations in that one source can hit you pretty hard in that instance. So if we've also got the toy market, if, for example, some sort of calamity were to hit the toy market, then that might not necessarily hit the clothing market in the same way. Right, Zeppelin Field has been researched. What do we want to research next? I could, in fact, increase the collection radius for my uh, water tower. I'm not sure I necessarily need to, though. Um, I am tempted to increase the plantation. Yeah, we'll be able to increase the amount of oranges and grapes and cotton that we produce. That would be fairly good, I think. Uh, well, plantations would only be cotton, realistically. We'd need uh, orchards, I believe, for those. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how that one goes. Now, are we producing much of anything right now? Let's have a watch. Where are you going? Why don't you just go up there? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it's alright. Uh, let's have a look in here. We've got plenty of wood stockpiling. Uh, the plank mills should be requesting this. Yes, they've got quite a lot available. Uh, so planks should be heading out right now. Let's have a look at our uh, logistics routes. So in terms of raw resources, they're, they're heading where they want to. But wooden planks, we've got amount available, amount of destination, amount in transit. This is the Farnham uh, previous request unfulfilled. Ah, so they're not getting to this one yet. Well... That isn't particularly good. Perhaps we should reduce the amount that is being requested. Let's uh, reduce that down to 10 and see if that can affect things. We're, we should be producing enough to deliver some planks to both if we're only, produce, uh, only requesting 10. Otherwise, we're only producing 16 in total, and so we're never quite going to hit that 20. That being said, it would mean that we'd get that one done a little bit faster, but really, we don't need to worry about it too much. Research complete. Farm storage has been in, uh, unlocked. So we're next working on plantations and then we'll work on orchards. But whilst we're waiting on that, let's have a quick look at logistics, shall we? Uh, right, so the Zeppelin field is very expensive to place. We are hurting the money. Mm, not liking that. We've placed down a lot of industry in the last little while and this industry isn't doing anything for us just yet. We're losing a bit of money here and there. Redistribute. The state has given you an opportunity to redistribute your loans. Hmm, loan interest minus 50%. Okay, that is actually really good. Really good, because that was uh, hitting us a little bit. Now, I have no idea how much that is going to start requiring. We've increased our plantation fields. Storage is currently full. There we go. We have completed our request. Now, hopefully... That will uh, help out. We can turn off this request completely at this point. We don't need any extra um, resources coming up to this warehouse. Let's have a look at what you've got stored. Uh, nothing right now. Uh, these units are being moved back. 
because we just don't need the resources here. Uh, acquire permit for this region. Oh, how much are you looking for? <laughs> There's no way. Absolutely no way. I can't get anywhere near that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to allow our cash to accrue. We'll finish upgrading the orchard fields, and then we'll just let that sit. Uh, we can expand out our plantations. It would require that we expand out the amount of water that we're producing, which would be fine uh, in the long term. Uh, I think that would be all right. Let's add some extra harvesters then. So one there, and I did one here. We don't necessarily need to uh, ferry this to the plantations, but I still think we're going to need to connect it up to the water siphon itself. So let's get that done. And in preparedness, we'll also set up another one or two over here. Now, this is taking a bit of cash, I know, but uh, hopefully it will be worth it in the long run. So there we are. Connect those up. There we are. Well, let's uh, allow time to move forward. We should start seeing that a decent amount of money is coming in. Um, there we are. Contracts complete. There we go. 1.88 million was gathered. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, auction one, well, ooh. Cost of terraforming reduced, don't need that one. Uh, is that going to do anything? Can we get rid of that? There we go. Contract successfully completed. Delivered 39 planks to Farnham. Marvellous. Uh, what are you up to right now? You're from Canada. You're going to deliver it up here and then take it back. Which is a bit of a parch, but I guess that's fine overall. Right, okay, so uh, we should be seeing a large amount of planks being delivered. We can now turn back on our destinations. So we're going to continue selling planks to Shandaf, which should be fun. Oh my lord. So many things just went, went a bit awry. Uh, have we got overstock? Yes, we do. Uh, can we turn that off for now? There we go. Because <laughs> that was going to be a right potch. Uh, once we have these starting to be uh, created, I'm not sure if we've got any planks stored. Uh, we do. We've got nine planks currently stored. So these should, realistically speaking, be set up. Oh, they're currently trying to make wooden planks. Well, that's a bit dumb, isn't it? Uh, there we are. That Both of them should now be set to wooden. No, oh, there we go. Wall panels. They should go out and collect everything they need. There we go. And set it up for a little while. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, a few derps here and there. I do apologize. Uh, right, now with that, we should be able to tell you to go ahead and deliver wall panels, which I believe are a tier 2 resource. Have a quick look. They might not be. Uh, no, there we are. We would like these for our contract in Shandaf. That will be fantastic. And eventually, we will then want to move those elsewhere. Now, finally, we can get to building the Zeppelin field. And uh, I think we're going to have our Zeppelin field built off here, perhaps? Uh, let's see. Sure, we can have it connect up to the uh, warehouse in some capacity. About here would be fine, I think. Sure, we'll place that down there. Zeppelins can't move that much product, but they also don't require any roads or tracks to work since they glide above everything. Make sure you place this building near a warehouse to be able to make requests in its requests. Tab. There we go. Let's hook that up there. Now, I have no idea how much this is going to cost. Probably an awful lot. Uh, copper airfield. There we are. That should be fine. I doubt we're going to have many of these around, but we'll see. That's half a million straight up. Oh, this better be worth it. Uh, we will want a warehouse over here. And again, we're just going to connect this up with a little bit of a gap. There we are. And then another Zeppelin field down here as well. Uh, Osri, Roch, uh, Rohester. We'll just put trade. Trade warehouse. There's not much that we want to do with that one. There we go. Orchard fields increased as well. We will get those uh, laid down shortly. This may be a, a decent one because we could... Uh, send out uh, a decent amount of product here. Uh, that being said, perhaps we should have the... If we are sending over product, such as oranges or grapes, hmm, 
Perhaps we should build ours. We should have thought ahead. I should have thought ahead. Uh, making our zeppelin field uh, a little bit closer to all of our orchards and then requesting the copper be brought to it would have been an easier way of doing that. Or rather, a, a more efficient way. Oh well, too late now. Uh, but we can at least set this up down here. There we go. And hook this one up as well. There we go. And this will be a trade airfield. There we go. I am hopeful that we're not going to need more than one. Uh, let's pop down a request for uh, copper. Now, will this make me enough is the question. Is this going to be anywhere near enough? Uh, we could also request planks, frankly. But it's only a request 4.5. I doubt it's going to be worth it for copper, honestly, but the bricks, we could definitely move bricks, so we could definitely move planks. Um, whether there would be really much use of these products, questionable, but uh, we've set it up to check out the copper, so let's uh, let's move it and just see how much that's going to gonna require. So let's request copper, uh, let's see, over here, and we'll request let's say 20. Uh, this one will then sell the copper to a commercial there and indeed here as well. We'll sell to both and I just want to see how much you require. Four there and over here you would require oh that's interesting because you do both require it and yet you're not showing it in here oh i had the construction goods up no i did not uh there we go that was the hardware store so let me uh right so the construction goods in both require four and five respectively so for ostery we want to move 10 let's pull that all the way down and we want only eight in row step. We definitely don't want to hit this one too hard with dropping the price. That would be pretty awful, actually, considering the price is so low already. Uh, right, let's go and find our first Zeppelin, if we can. Is there a Zeppelin en route? Where would it be traveling from? Would we see it? There we go. How much are you carrying? Three. All right. I failed to catch how much that was costing me. Uh, let's have a look. Building up, keep 9k. Uptime, it doesn't actually tell me. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> That's fantastic, though. I do approve. Let's uh, pause that. Follow this vehicle. There we go. Oh, that's glorious. Truly, truly marvellous, in my opinion. Gliding above everything. Propellers are so good. So good. I like it. And another one is also off. And another one. How much are they costing? Uh, not nothing. Oh, really? That doesn't seem right. That does not seem right. No, 36,000. I think it's worth to say that uh, moving copper is not worth doing with Zeppelins. My goodness. That is, that is an awful lot of money. So much. So much. That will only be worth it when we've got ridiculous amounts of uh, really, really high, high-end material to move across. I'm going to shut that request down right away. <laughs> It'll be funny to see it happen. At least once. We had to test it. Come on, you know we did. But yeah, we're not doing that again. Um, let's have a look. Is there anything that would make sense for that? Uh, maybe the... Since you could move two, yes. It would make sense for something like cardboard, a tier three resource. It would make sense for the planks. Yeah, yeah, it would make sense for the planks. They, they are moving. I mean, it's they're not wasting as enormous amounts of money as it might first have appeared because they, they are ultimately um, uh, carrying three pieces of copper at 4.53k per, but planks are the things that we're going to need to, to shift over there which you know isn't terrible but it does uh, further uh, solidify that i should have built the the zeppelin 
um, launch a little bit closer. Uh, bricks, uh, three of them, yeah, sure, we can move bricks. But planks, probably the better one to move, honestly. Uh, do both of them, yeah, both of them have a construction goods store, so it's quite likely that we'd be able to move uh, a decent amount of planks over there. Yes, yes, we could. The, the, it would be better for the, the really high-end items, though, like cardboard. Uh, so that's fine. We It was a lesson learned. A lesson learned. I, I'm not too uh, dissatisfied with that, though. Oh, my Lord. Why? Why? So many. So many. It hurts. Ah, uh, oh, well. Uh, once we've got places that will accept wall panels and the likes, that would actually be even better, obviously. Uh, how's the cop the, the warehouse doing? We've got quite a few, uh, copper, quite a fair bit of copper tube in there. Uh, we are currently, uh, we're producing a, a reasonable amount of copper at the moment. Perhaps we should be requesting more planks, though. That would be fine. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, the storage full over there is something I'm not going to worry overly about, but uh, it is something that we could work on. Uh, the brick smelter, I don't believe this warehouse has anything to do with its bricks, so it's just so, um, just stockpiling them. Uh, let's have a look in Kandath. Can you or will you ever accept bricks? No. So bricks are definitely something that we should be moving. All right. Uh, we won't be moving grapes. We won't be moving oranges. Uh, honestly, that, that one was fine. If we had set up the airfield down here, that would be a better option. We can bring the bricks up to this warehouse and then move the planks direct from it. So that much, I feel, is a wise move rather than requesting both planks be delivered and bricks to this warehouse. Uh, that being said, we are requesting the planks anyway, but it is an extra step in the journey. So instead of that, we are going to move the Zeppelin field down closer to this little area here. And uh, perhaps, well, we're going to want it to come straight out of this warehouse. They will be moving from this warehouse down. So, sure, we could have it somewhere around here without too much trouble. Um, let's place this just over here instead. There we are. Uh, that way we've got all of these items just coming straight out there. There we go. And they can then go back along that route if they particularly want to. So this will be Plank Airfield. There we are. And this airfield can go. It was a very expensive mistake to have built it there, but I don't mind too much. Oh, we'll actually get some back. Well, that's uh, less of an expensive mistake then, in that case. And uh, that's not too bad. I don't mind that one at all, actually. Uh, continue to bring up the planks, that's fine. Uh, down here, though, I will request that this airfield delivers uh, product out there. Right now, we are actually able to shift a decent amount of planks out of here. Uh, we are transferring some up there, uh, and once we've done that, we're probably not going to need to move too much more down. Uh, but currently, think Andaf is using quite a lot. And they're willing to take 10 to 15 days now. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, clearly, we need to increase our production of planks even more. Uh, once again, uh, a plank mill uses three every 20 days and produces two planks. Uh, so three wood. Uh, how many have we got currently? We've got 15. So we could afford to run... Uh, but that, they produce uh, 15 planks every 10 days. So we'll be producing 30 every 20 days, we could easily afford to have another two plank mills, even with the two paper mills that we've got. Uh, paper is a slightly better product, I believe, though, in terms of its uh, tier. Let's just have a, a quick look uh, in here. Factories, we have a look at the paper mill. I believe the paper mill... Uh, oh, actually, no, rolled paper might not be a high tier product. If we have a look down here... No, it's only a tier one, so much like planks in that case. All right, uh, well, wall panels will be moving along. Ultimately, dollhouses and the likes. We would, the doll would be a tier two product. And eventually, dollhouses would be a tier three product, so that would shift an enormous uh, quantity uh, of uh, resources, but for very large amounts of money, and definitely worth us looking into. But uh, planks are fairly easy for us to manufacture. 
and paper is not. But let's have a look at uh, the shop overview up in Roister. Do you actually require paper? No, you don't. You will take heavy pulp, but not paper. You don't either, but you will accept cardboard. I think they'll all accept cardboard, actually. Uh, you do. Uh, Kandaf, do you accept cardboard? You do. Mm. Might be time for us to have a look into that then. It requires that we use heavy pulp to make the cardboard. All right, I think that uh, we need to branch out into the, the second tier product. And at that point, shifting the cardboard rather than the planks would be a much better option for us in terms of getting our money back on each Zeppelin ride. So sure, we'll we'll go for that. We won't use up the, the rapidly stockpiling uh, wood at the moment, though. We'll, we'll let that continue to stockpile. Uh, we should be moving quite a lot over to Shandav, actually. Uh, let's check out Shandav's uh, hardware store. Do we have much? Yes, we've got quite a lot. They're willing to take 12 to 15 days, but the price is dropping. Uh, that's fine. Overall, we're making a decent amount of money, but we could certainly uh, desire to get more. Cannot reach destination. Big smelter. Why is that? What's happening down here? Um... Have we got anything in particular? What is not reaching it? Uh, right, there is an issue here, but I can't quite see what the issue is coming from because that does appear to have enough connections. Uh, let's go ahead and just bring this out just on the off chance that is something I can't see. There we are. And maybe even connect it up at the back here. Though that would introduce uh, a new uh, kind of a slip road. But sure, we'll, we'll connect that up and see how that goes. Uh, storage full, copper warehouse in Kandaf. Okay, it, it appears that this was causing some sort of issue for our trucks. We'll see how that, that works out. But I think that's going to be where we wrap up today's episode. What we have yet to do is increase the yield of all of our orchards by adding in the extra farms, but I'm going to have a look at the demand in places like Shandaf and Wrestle before we set that up, and in the next episode, we will probably get to making cardboard and also upgrading Shandaf. I was hoping that we'd be able to do that in this episode, but it is taking a while because uh, war planks uh, take a fair bit of time to make. Who knew? But that's going to be it from me. Do remember to post down in the comments below if you're interested in winning the key to this game. We still have three to give away, but that is going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.